Welcome back to the study pod. In our last video we learned about reflection. Now let's talk about reflective surfaces. A plane mirror is a mirror with a smooth and flat surface. We see images in a plane mirror when light rays from objects are reflected by the mirror into our eyes. Let's understand this with a diagram. When we put an object in front of a plane mirror, light rays that fall upon the object are reflected by the mirror into our eyes. The mirror forms an image of the object. Plane mirrors form images that are virtual, upright, laterally inverted, which means they are inverted from left to right, and they are the same size as the object. How many times do you look at yourself in the mirror? Besides being used to check our appearances, plain mirrors have many other uses. Many optical instruments use mirrors to reflect and change the direction of light. Microscopes, telescopes and periscopes are some examples of optical instruments that use mirrors as reflectors. Not all reflecting surfaces are flat like plain mirror. Concave and convex mirrors have curved surfaces. Have you ever looked into a metal spoon and see the image of your face? Do the front and the back of the spoon give the same image? A concave mirror has a reflecting surface that caves inwards, just like the front of a metal spoon. On the other hand, a convex mirror has a reflecting surface that bulges outwards, just like the back of a metal spoon. Concave and convex mirrors produce images that are different from those formed by plane mirrors. Convex mirrors produce upright images and give a wider scope of view. They are used as security mirrors, staircase mirrors and blind corner mirrors on roads. Concave mirrors produce virtual images which are magnified if the object is near the mirror. They are used as dentist's mirrors cosmetic mirrors and in microscopes. Concave reflectors are used in car headlights and searchlights to produce a parallel beam of reflected light from a small bulb. This brings us to the end of the video. If you have any queries you can write to us at thestudypod01 at gmail.com.